Okay, so hi guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made my jack-o'-lantern this year. So first step, you want to carve into the top. Make sure it's at a slant and don't use a big ass knife like I did. And then once that's done, once you have all that goop that's usually at the top, you want to cut that off. Usually use safety tools. Don't use a big knife like I did. And then you want to scoop out, start scooping out the guts of the pumpkin with either a spoon or one of those safety scoopers. And then once you're finished with that, you want to pour out all the guts onto a newspaper. That way it doesn't get your table or floor or wherever you're doing it really dirty. And once you're done, it should look something like this. It doesn't have to look like this. It can be a little bit more messy if you please, but I just like mine's nice and neat. Next, you want to start on your pattern. I decided to draw mine's again this year, but you can always use a pattern either from a computer or from the little booklets that you get from the store. And then once you're finished with your pattern, once you've drawn it out or uh, pasted the paper onto there and traced it, you will start cutting it out. Remember to use a safety tool and not a big knife. And if you need help with it, always get an adult to assist you, a responsible adult. Thank you. 
once you're finished carving out all the pieces you need to carve out. If there's any excess gut skin from the pumpkin, uh, you want to scoop it out or use your fingers just to pull it out. And then wipe off all the excess ink. And this is what it should look like after you're done. It should be looking like a jack-o'-lantern. I decided to go with like a little scared little face this year. Last year I did a flurry on. This year I'm just doing a little face. Now this is the next part is optional. I decided to do eyeballs this year for my pumpkin. And with these I took avocado seeds and some tissue and wrapped them up. But you don't have to use avocado seeds. You can use anything that's round. And then just paint some little red veins on it. And then just draw your iris. Again, this is optional, you do not have to do this. And then once you've got the needle through, you will want to stab it through the pumpkin gourd. And voila! It should look something like this when you're finished. Well, not exactly like this, but wherever you want the eyes to be positioned. And this is the final result. I decided to put some of the pumpkin gourd out of the mouth to make it look like it's throwing up. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I make new videos almost every single week, at least once a week. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, and I almost forgot this is what it looks like at night. I thought it was pretty cool.